Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Regarding the revaluation, RV, front, the current situation is somewhat unclear and largely speculative. At this point, we only have rumors circulating about the status of the hydrocarbon law, HCL, particularly in the Kurdish regions. It appears that some revisions were made to the HCL, which was subsequently sent back to Parliament for further deliberation. There have been reports suggesting that Parliament has tentatively agreed on the revised HCL, but we are still awaiting an official confirmation or announcement. The anticipation is that once Parliament gives the final green light, the HCL will be implemented potentially triggering significant economic changes. In the context of the HCL's approval, there is palpable excitement among observers and stakeholders about the potential for a transformative impact on Iraq's economic land escape. There is even speculation that the HCL might be approved before the end of the current week. This optimism is buoyed by recent developments, including the government's efforts to manage the value of the US dollar which has been set at 1,320 dinars in an attempt to control inflation and stabilize the currency. Despite these measures, the impact on the black market has been limited. The government's attempts to reduce dollar prices and control speculative trading have not yet succeeded in eliminating black market activities. The significant drop in dollar auctions are from $250 million a day to consistently under $25 million for over a week suggests that the central bank's strategies are shifting. This reduction in auction volume indicates a prioritization of other economic measures and a focus on managing the currency reserves more strategically. The central bank's current stance is that there are no plans to reconsider or adjust the dollar exchange rate further. Governor Ali Alek of the central bank has explicitly ruled out any changes to the dollar rate. Despite this, there has been some confusion and misinformation circulating about his position. There are a few articles and reports mentioning potential issues or dissatisfaction with the governor, but these sources appear fragmented and inconsistent. Some articles even hint at the possibility of his resignation. Although these reports lack clarity and substantive evidence. It is worth noting that some of the commentary and speculation about the central bank and its leadership might be influenced by external pressures or political motivations. There are concerns that certain factions, possibly with Iranian influence, are seeking to undermine the current leadership and replace them with more sympathetic figures. These factions could be interested in destabilizing the current regime to facilitate their own agendas or gain control over economic policies. In summary, while there is cautious optimism about the HCL and its potential impact, the situation remains fluid. The ongoing efforts by the government to stabilize the dinar and control the dollar's value are crucial, but the effectiveness of these measures will depend on their ability to address black market activities and gain broader public and political support. Meanwhile, the central bank's stance on the exchange rate and any potential leadership changes are areas to watch closely for further developments.